Welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I carry my Knipix tools and the few other things that I carry with them to make a miniature toolbox that I can wear on my belt. So let's get into it. First off, the pouch. This is the Leatherman pouch, and it is the large pouch. Small pouch, large pouch. Do I have a medium pouch? Yes, I do. These are the three sizes of Leatherman pouches that you can get. I do think you can get the medium one with uh, the little elastic bands on the sides to hold your stuff. I don't think you can do it on the small one. I think it's just for the squirt multi-tools. Fantastic little tool, by the way. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about this pouch and the Knipix stuff that I carry inside. So let's open it up. Let me explain the obvious weird thing here. Black handles. I hated that smooth, slippery texture of the out of box red rubber that they had dipped this sucker in. And I had it stripped off and I, the metal was a lot better than the rubber for the, the jobs that I do. But I decided to, for temporarily to take some heat shrink tubing, put it over the handles and shrink it on. Now it's not as, uh, it's about the same grippiness as the metal, but it's a little bit softer on the hands. I wish Knipix would just go ahead and give this, uh, you know, slightly grippy rubber to all of their tools. I don't like that smooth, shiny plastic that they dip. I, it just messes me up. So, either go strip it off or swap it out for heat shrink. But these are the 5 inch pliers wrench and the 5 inch Cobra water pump pliers. I love these two little things. I have used these surprisingly more than I thought I would, almost replacing these little guys. But not entirely because of how I'm able to carry them. If I had to pick one, I would probably go pliers wrench for what the way that I live. So those two tools, a Crescent brand four inch Crescent wrench. I don't know if the camera will focus on that. There it goes. You can buy these at Tractor Store. And an Olite I3T EOS in titanium. Love this little flashlight. It's been a solid carry for me all the time. And that, for now, is it. I haven't really had the room to throw other stuff in. I might be able to find something slim that will fit in here. But for now, pretty much all I can squeeze into this pouch are these four tools. And I use these regularly. I might swap this out for something else that fits. If I can get me like a little ratcheting screwdriver from an auto store or something, I'll probably swap that out. Swap this out for that. But... For now, because they don't have anything of this size to fill in the spot, that goes on that side of the pouch. The Olight, the first time or two, it's a little snug, but as time goes, that fits in there quite nicely. Now, how do I pack the tools in here? I put them back to back so that the push buttons are on opposing sides. And you can put them either head first in like that or handle first. Either way works. And you put them in the large compartment in the middle and then you droop the pouch over. I prefer head down. It just seems to work a little bit better. I'm not sure why, but it just seems to size up and fit better. And you can actually bend that over and close it. You cannot do that on the medium pouches. You, not even on just one plier, much less having two in there. Just the size won't work. But this large pouch that you can buy from Leatherman, it fits. And I think it's a lot more streamlined and a lot more usable than the Knipix pouch that you can buy. Knipix does supply you, or not necessarily supply you, but you can buy from them a pouch of similar ideals. You know, a main compartment in the middle, 
two elastic things on the side, but it's such, it's so thick and weird shaped that I don't like it. I also don't like um, the Velcro of it. I prefer the snap button. And so, yeah. <clears throat> For now, this is what I have in my toolkit. I may, like I said, I may replace this for a bit driver of some sort. W you know, what I have already on the other side of my belt in the large leather pouch that it comes in is my Swiss tool and ratchet set. So I don't really need a ratchet per se because I've got this sucker. But, you know, the more the merrier. And I know this is a lot of weight for some people to carry, but I prefer, I like having that extra chunk on my waist. Um, but this has just worked out surprisingly well. If you're interested in carrying both Knipix multi-tools, I would recommend giving the large Leatherman pouch a try. It's technically designed for a four and a half inch multi-tool. These are five inch pliers, but it just happens to fit pretty good you know, the first time or two, it was a bit of a stretch, but once the, the nylon loosens up, it comes very stiff out of the box. Once the nylon loosens up, it, it fits no trouble, at least for me. I don't know if it'll work for you, but for me, this has worked. If you're interested in carrying a flashlight, two wrenches, and whatever pencil or pen you want to add to the side, sharpener, whatever tickles your fancy, go with it. Before I had the flashlight in here, though... I did have this little flathead screwdriver that I would uh, slip down the side there with the little overhang of the bottom there. You know, it wasn't going to fall out on me. And that makes a good combination too. But I'm always looking into dark places trying to fix stuff. So, flashlight. This is the i3 TEOS, not the i5. i5 is a double A. It's thicker. May not fit. May fit, may not fit. Don't know. I don't have one. I can't exactly test that out yet. So, it's a little redundant in this episode, but if you're looking to carry the two 5-inch multi-tools from Knipix, please consider getting a large Leatherman pouch. It does hold both, and then some. If you have the 4-inch types, this will probably be a little too tall, for those but the medium pouch will most likely hold those two and again to show how i stuff them i put them button sides away from each other back to back where the heads are going different directions and down into the main compartment of the pouch now like i said earlier there may be other stuff that i may be able to fit like i do have a strop strap looks like i can fit that in there but there's not going to be much that you can fit. Definitely not a whole nother Leatherman bit kit. I've tried that. And let me try it on screen again. One moment. Going around my desk. Pick up my jacket. Find the pouch. Here's the medium pouch from Leatherman. And as you can see, the size difference. Get off my table, Ant. Um, let's just see. We threw a bit kit in there. It does fit, but that, that felt like a bit of a stretch. Can we fit both? Probably not, because we're really making that thick. Yeah, it, it's not wanting to slide in. So, if you're packing one Knipix tool, then yeah, almost assuredly, you fit one, two sleeves, and close. But if you're packing both, it's either one, one wrench and two bits, or two wrenches and no bits. So, that is that tool case. And for those of you that are curious, Leatherman Free P2 with the Shapeways Bit Extender, Bit Exchanger mod. Very nice, worth the money. And ratchet. That little ratchet, I bought that a year ago. 
and I do not regret buying that whatsoever. That thing has been so handy. You know, I, I don't usually, because with my Swiss tool, I don't usually carry um, this on my person. But I've usually got it in the car as a quickie toolkit. Between my Swiss tool and the Knipix, I'm quite well prepared for most things that come my way. I mostly have this for the one or two weird things that the shapes of the tools on the free that the Victorinox doesn't do. And the bit kit, just to have the extent, you know, 20 some plus bits of various sizes. And this little ratchet thing, I've put it under some stress and it hasn't broken on me. It's worth the money. So, that said, that is how I carry my Knipix tools. If you're considering getting something like that, please consider... This is mostly to show that the Leatherman case works with the Knipix. Not necessarily a Knipix toolkit, although if you do like the layout I have here and you want to imitate it, go right ahead. I use these things regularly for my life. You may or may not use it as much as I do. But everything fits. It works. So, thank you for watching this video. Hope you found this useful and informational. Hope it helps you build your EDC to your standards. And until the next episode, a farewell, carry well, a bye-bye.